Josh Stewart, your front row. Row number two will be Anthony Page and Rob Fraser. Jay Cavins and Gage Price will be row three. And Wayne Levinson and Peter Katona Jr. Your back of the bus. So we've got five cars out there. Make that six. We'll take some music. We'll get them back when they come to the green line. With Bowman and Josh Stewart leading us away. And the ex Gary Leeson, car number 19. He tried to switch a rule on Bowman. We left him hanging out to dry in turn number one. Instead, Stewart trying to use his smartness, finding the bottom side of Paul Bowman. Trying to do the exact same thing we saw from car number 61, Jake Blight, back to the top side. Seems to be the place to be if you want to make the big moves. That's what Gage Price is saying. So we're only down to seven cars in this one. In fact, there's eight. We lost Matthew Jones. He was the only one not to start. And this may be the first lap, or first race, I should say, that Wayne Livingston doesn't lead a lap in tonight. He led his opening two at the moment. It's a four-way battle for fifth place between himself. Jake Havens, the heat race winner so far tonight. Anthony Page and Peter Katona. Katona's trying to use the top side while Rob Fraser is right there as well. The top side's been the place to be, but Bowman, who's made his forte into production today and this year after running many a seasons in street stocks. He's doing a good job as Havens who's won a heat race. He had something break on him in the right rear in heat race. He's opening heat race tonight. He's finding himself mad well down in the field at the moment. Challenging Katona and Fraser at the moment for fourth place. He sits in six at the moment. And right behind them is Anthony Page and Wayne Livingston. Your top three have spread out already of Bowman. Gage Price has gotten up to second place. Good effort from the 15 machine trying to lock himself in automatically into tomorrow night's 40 lap main event as Fraser and Peter Katona trying to lock horns there for the fourth place and Katona who had the inside line on Rob Fraser gets into fourth place and now Katona tries and sets sail to catch up to Leeson as an inquiry flag is coming out so we've got one car stopped on turn number three I think that may be Anthony Page it is, and the yellows have come on. So Anthony Page goes to the infield. It'll be Bowman, Price, Leeson, Katona, Fraser, Avens, and Wayne Livingston with four laps remaining. We've completed six so far. In our final heat race of round number three in our state title. And Gage Price has found his way into second place. Great move from 15. We've had 10 races, in fact, of this state title going from green to check. It's been a great run from our production stands tonight. Especially Gage Price. He had been best presented. He's had a win under his name, and this will definitely solidify him already into tomorrow night's main event. It's Katona's getting very very quickly to the inside of Josh Stewart and just like that Stewart's back down to fourth place he may even go down another position with two to go as here comes Jake Evans in the 11 machine to the inside of the Leeson BA Falcon being driven by Josh Stewart he goes well think otherwise as they go into turn number three but there's one to go for Paul Bowman in the Star Transport, PV Trailers and Fabrication, car number 52. Earl Fraser has a moment out of turn number four, but our final qualifier is going to go to the Deep South. The win to Paul Bowman in a very epic RPM Race Products Heat Race number 15. Ahead of Gage Price. And Peter Katona, who really did come through the field and rescue a great position in our final heat race tonight. That's all our qualifiers done. We've still got junior sedans and street stocks to come out. But one last time 
Manjimum, I think you need to make all the production stands feel proud and give him an absolute round of applause for tonight's racing. It's been a great night of 15 qualifiers. And very quickly, we'll go to, uh, to the infield with our man, Josh McAlpine, with the 52 of Paul Bowman. Thanks, Morgs. As we look at our last heat race winner of the night, car 52 out of Albany, the all-tech mechanical star auto parts hetry of Paul Bowman. It's a very, very well-presented machine, this VF Commodore. As we wait for him to get his safety gear off and shut the beast down, we'll have a quick chat. Congratulations, Paul. 36 points in the back. Bank. Uh, must be good to get yourself a heat race win here at the production sedan state title. Yeah, no, it definitely helped me out. Had a couple of six and a fifth, I think, so a win should get me up there a bit closer. Um, yeah, no, just think, my old man, my brother, um, yeah, and just me all my family for coming over. And all the bachelors, Clarky for their help. Cheers. It's a fantastic looking machine, this VF Commodore yours. How many hours do you reckon you put into this thing before you brought it out to this state title this weekend? Oh, it got a bit wrecked in the last Albany's meeting, so a fair bit of bar work bent. But yeah, we managed to get it here, so yeah, no, it slowly got there, but we're finally having some luck. Well done, mate. Looks like you're on the right uh, path, and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow night for night two of the production sedan state title. Congratulations, Paul Bowman, the last heat race winner, car number 52 out of Albany. Thanks for that, Josh McAlpine. A tip of the cap to you for your efforts tonight. Not just being a state president, but also...